Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, this lecture is a, is a continuation of construction problems, um, uh, everything about triangles, basically. And uh, um, as before, I will be using certain things which I have already done before in the prior lectures. Uh, just I'll use it just as as known things, basically. Uh, just for example, if, uh, for instance, I'm saying, okay, let's construct the triangle equal to this one by three sides. I'm not going to explain how I do it. That's in the prior lectures. So let me go straight to um, additional construction works, construction problems, which, uh, which I have. Um, I, I hope you did spend some time um, with the notes for this lecture where all these construction problems um, are written and uh, well I'm sure you have been able to construct it yourself so just in case you have some doubts I'll do it myself um, all right um, given a straight line and two points anywhere on the plane construct a point on a given line equidistant to two given points okay um, so you have two points and some kind of a line on the plane. What I have to find out is the point M on this line equidistant from AM should be equal to BM. I mean the length of these segments. Well, how to do it? Um, I think it's appropriate to mention something which is called locus. Um, locus is a certain set of points, usually, um, which have certain property. Now, for example, um, what's the locus of points equidistant from two different points? Right. Two points and I need all the points which are equidistant from these two. Well, I claim this is the perpendicular uh, bisector to segment which connects these two points. Why? Well, it's very easy to prove. Let's say point M is equidistant from A and B which means this is equal to this. So the triangle is isosceles, and in the isosceles triangle, the altitude and the bisector of, the, of this um, angle and the uh, median are all the same line, and that's why from M perpendicular to AB will always fall in the middle of AB. If I will take any other point M prime and draw a perpendicular to AB again, because these two sides are equal, the perpendicular will drop in the middle of AB. So no matter where my equidistant point is, it's on the same perpendicular which falls in the middle of AB. So, the locus of all the points equidistant from two, di from two given points, A and B, is um, a perpendicular bisector um, to a segment which connects these two points. So, what's the property this point must actually have? Well, it must be equidistant, because that's what, that, that's what basically the construction problem is all about. Which means it should belong to the set of all the points equidistant from two, from two given points, A and B. Which means it should belong to a perpendicular bisector. But at the same time, the construction problem is asking us to find a point on this given line which has this property. So basically we have an additional uh, property. 
we have the property for the point M not only to belong to the perpendicular bisector of segment AB, but also on this line. Well, if the point belongs to two different lines, it's actually the intersection of these two lines, right? So, if there is an intersection, that's a very important, actually, detail, then that's the point which we actually are looking for. So, what we do is we connect A and B, seg uh, segment AB, uh, then we construct a perpendicular bisector to this segment, and if it crosses our given line, then the crossing point, which also, which is only one, obviously, because two lines can cross in one point only. Uh, so this point is the one which we want, which we have to construct. However, let's just consider what if this perpendicular bisector and this line do not have any uh, crossing points, which means they are parallel. So this actually also a case which we have to really think about. So if our two points are on the same perpendicular to this line, the uh, uh, perpendicular bisector will be parallel to this line and will never cross it, which means there is no point on this line which which can be equidistant from these two points, A and B. No matter what point we have, there is always a difference between the lengths of these two segments. And by the way, if you remember, um, one of the lecture was about perpendicular being the shortest distance from the point to, to a line, and the further from the perpendicular segment is from this given point M to this particular line. So this is perpendicular, this is the shortest, and the further from uh, the perpendicular our segment is, the longer it is. So that's why if these lines are perpendicular, uh, the line which connects AB and the given line, then there is no equidistant line on the M. There is no solution to this problem. Okay. Construct a point equidistant to three vertices of a given triangle. All right. So if you have a triangle, I need a point equidistant to all these three points. Well, let's think about it. Again, let's approach this from the locus standpoint. The locus of the points equidistant from, let's say, A and B is this line. The locus of the point equidistant from B and C is this line. And the locus of the point, points equidistant from A and C is this line. Now, I cross them in one point, and uh, that's obviously the case, but it needs certain comments. Uh, why these three lines cross in one point? Because in theory, three different lines can cross this way, right? So, this is not the case. This is the case. And let me explain why. Um, let me just assume an opposite, that the line which is a perpendicular bisector to AC crosses this way. So I have three points, uh, M, N, and P. Um, now, let me just try to prove that this is actually impossible. Look at this. The distance from the BM, 
distance from m to b is equal to uh, distance from a to m because point m belongs to perpendicular bisector. At the same time, since point m belongs to this perpendicular bisector, distance from a and c is the same. So am is equal to ac. Now, from this, uh, sorry, not mc, ac, mc. or even better, CM. Since, since I always put the vertices in, in the front. Now, what's, what's interesting is that BM, this distance, is equal to AM because point M is on this bisector. <coughs> Excuse me. And AM is equal to CM because M is on this bisector. So BM and CM are equal to each other because the equality is transitive, as we know. So BM is equal to CM, which means what? Which means that the point M should also belong to the perpendicular bisector um, of the segment BC since it's equidistant which means point M should belong to this perpendicular bisector of the segment BC so that's why my initial claim that intersection is of this type is actually invalid because the way how I um, um, draw it here it, M doesn't belong to the intersection uh, to a perpendicular bisector. So basically, this is not the case. What is the case is that all three lines cross in one point, and this is the point uh, equidistant from all three vertices of the triangle. From A to point M, the distance is the same as from B to M, because M belongs to this uh, perpendicular bisector, and this equal to this, because it's this perpendicular bisector, etc. Um, which, by the way, means that if you would like to um, circumscribe a triangle into a circle, then the center of this circle is exactly here. Because these are supposed to be three regi, which are supposed to be of the same length, since the circle is the locus of the points equidistant from one called the center. So basically, if you would like to circumscribe a triangle, um, then you have to find out the center of this circle by um, drawing at least two, you don't need really three, but at least two perpendicular bisectors of uh, triangle sides. Okay, let's move on. Given an angle in the straight line that cross both its sides, construct a point equidistant to two sides of a given angle. All right, now this is simple. Angle and the line which crosses both sides, we have to find a point equidistant from both uh, sides of the angle. Now, back to, back on the memory line, what is the locus of the points equidistant from the sides of the angle? Obviously, it's a bisector. From any point, perpendicular to here or perpendicular to here are equal to each other because the triangles 
are right triangles with common hypotenuse and congruent acute angles. So, we have to find the point which is both equidistant, which means it's supposed to be on the bisector of this angle, and like on this line. Well, obviously that's the crossing of these two points, so the construction is draw a bisector of the angle, and wherever it crosses our line, that's the point we have to, that's the point we're looking for. Okay, construct a point equidistant to three sides of a given triangle. Okay, we first made um, a construction of the point equidistant from three vertices. Now let's do distance from three sides. So we have to find the point where these perpendiculars have equal lengths. How to do it? Well, obviously, if you do this and these are equal, now these are perpendiculars, this is hypotenuse, and these are uh, cagety, these are, are, are legs. So triangles, this one and this one, are uh, congruent to each other, so these angles must be congruent too. So, this is analysis of the problem. Now, therefore, basically, we have the solution. How to construct this point? Well, very simply. We just bisect this angle, then we bisect this angle, and then on the crossing we will have a point, and by the way, if we will draw the third bi bisector, angle bisector, it will also fall in the same point, and the proof is exactly similar to the proof uh, of the point equidistant from the vertices. Uh, so, to construct this point, which is uh, equidistant from three sides, which means perpendiculars to the sides should be equal to each other, you just have to draw a couple of angle bisectors. And, by the way, again, there is a circle involved here. Uh, if you will use this particular uh, segment as a radius, then you can inscribe a circle into into triangle. So the circle actually is tangent to all these uh, three sides. Um, we will talk about circle and its properties and what the tangent is, etc., a little bit further, but just know that for now that this particular construction of the point which is equidistant from three sides, it is actually a construction of a center of inscribed circle. So there is a su uh, su uh, uh, inscribed circle and, and circumscribed circle. Circumscribed around the vertices, inscribed between the sides. Okay, given a straight line, PQ, two points outside, but on the same side. Construct a point on the line such that angles PXM, okay, PQ and points M and N on the same side. Construct a point X on the line such that angle PXM and QXM, QXM are congruent. Well, um, that's simple. You just take the point M, reflect it. relative to this line, and if you will, draw a straight line from this point, M prime to N. Now these are vertical angles, right? And these angles are congruent 
because m and m, uh, m prime are symmetrical relative to this line, which means they are on the same perpendicular. This is equal, and this is common, so the triangles uh, are right triangles, and they are congruent by two legs. And that's why the angles are also congruent. And that's why this angle is congruent to this, because these are vertical, and these are congruent to themselves. All right? That's simple. Construct the right triangle by one of its casualty and sum of hypotenuse and the other catheters. Uh -huh. So we have the right triangle. Now we have this catheters. And we have a sum of this catheters plus hypotenuse. Well, which means if I will uh, continue this line and make this equal to this, then the whole segment obtained. So if this is A, B, C, and this is also C. So what's given is A and B plus C. These two, uh, these two segments. Now, how can we construct the original triangle? Well, considering we have A and B plus C, we can construct the big triangle, right? But now let's think about, since, um, well, let me put some letters, A, uh, B, and C. So, and B. So, if my triangle B, A, G, if you consider it, there are two sides which are equal to each other, which means this is an isosceles triangle, which means that perpendicular bisector to AB would be an altitude and bisector uh, of this angle and, and the median of this triangle. So to, to obtain the point D, all I have to do is just take this segment and draw a perpendicular bisector. And now this is a triangle which I'm looking for because this part is equal to this part, and this is given. So basically construct a big triangle and from its hypotenuse draw a perpendicular bisector to get this point and this is the triangle we are looking for. Okay, move on. Uh, construct a triangle by side, an angle it makes with another side, and sum of two other sides. Okay, it's kind of similar. So if you have a triangle, and what's given is A, B, C, A, B, C, and this angle. So construct a triangle by a side, let's say it's B, this side, an angle it makes with another side, which is angle B, A, C and uh, a sum of two other sides, and A plus C. Okay, so these three elements are given for a triangle. Uh, what should we do? Well, basically it's very similar uh, to the previous task, but the previous task was about right triangles, and this one is about regular, but we still have an angle which helps. So how to build this? Well, let's just think about, um, if you will, if you don't mind, I'll make it slightly different, smaller. Okay, this is B, and this is C, and this is A. Okay, so, um, if you will continue this line, by the distance equal to A.
Now, what can you say about triangle ABC? You have a side, and you have another side, which is A plus C, and you have an angle between them. So you can build this triangle very easily. Now, uh, this is A, and this is A, which means BGC is uh, an isosceles triangle, which means to find the point B, we have to do the perpendicular bisector to this side. And here is our point B, and here is our triangle, this one. All right? Seems to be simple, right? It's exactly the same as with right, right triangles, uh, but uh, instead of the right angle, we have a given angle. Okay, uh, and this is my last one. Given an angle and two points, one on each side of an angle. Okay. Construct a point equidistant from both sides of an angle and at the same time equidistant from two given points on an angle. Okay, so we need the point which is equidistant from these two and equidistant from these two lines. Well, again, that's a very simple locus uh, type of construction. What is the locus of points equidistant from two different from, from two given line, uh, from two given points? So that's the perpendicular bisector, right? It's this line. And what's the locus of points equidistant from two sides of an angle? That's the angle bisector. So the crossing of these two lines satisfies both requirements. It's equidistant from these two points because it's on the perpendicular bisector and it's equidistant from two different sides of an angle because it's on the bisector. Well, that's it for this lecture. Um, these are very, very, sim very simple uh, construction problems and um, they should, should be uh, in your skill, basically, in your repertoire, if you wish, in your menu of, of available uh, tools which you have to solve much more uh, difficult problems. Now, what is important is to find out what kind of uh, problem this is. Is it a locus problem, for instance, which means you have to just draw one locus, another locus, and maybe their intersection will be uh, what you're looking for. Or maybe it's a construction problem which requires some kind of additional uh, drawing which would help you to, uh, to realize um, what exactly needs to be constructed. So maybe you, instead of constructing uh, directly what you're looking for, you have to construct something else. Like if you remember in the previous task where we had uh, one side and sum of two other sides in an angle. We basically constructed a bigger triangle and then we decided what to do, how to find uh, the point of a, the triangle which we really need to construct. So analysis is a very important thing. So first you have to start with analysis of this construction problem. And then if you really kind of, if you do it right, then you will realize how to do the construction itself. That's it for today, and uh, don't forget, unizor.com is your site for all kinds of uh, interesting educational material, and I would uh, also like to encourage parents and uh, supervisors to, uh, to use this site to basically control the educational process, because the students can be enrolled they should pass certain exams. Uh, you as a supervising uh, uh, person can control actually whether they pass or fail a particular um, lesson or lecture or whatever. So it's a very good tool to, um, to better educate your students. Um, thanks very much. That's it for today. Bye-bye.